Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it's Challenge Accepted Thursday, and I'm here actually on Thursday um, scrambling to get the video done. Uh, some stuff got in the way yesterday and last night, and I uh, absolutely could not uh, do this. I, I, some, it's a long story about how I'm using... Uh, I pulled up an old computer so that it would connect with my scanner, but now it's having trouble connecting with my printer, and yeah, you don't want to hear it. So I'll, it's uh, technical issues that I probably am going to need some help working through, but anyway, I've got most of the stuff I need. I'm going to kind of throw this together. Uh, honoring the sketch. This is a sketch that Shannon, my uh, cohort on uh, Challenge Accepted, uh, chose in conjunction with Christy Harriman of uh, Christy's Beautiful Life. Um, and we're doing, this is the, um, the, this is today's sketch, the, the 20, day 25 sketch for um, 30 days of sketches. Um, completely frantic because I've got someone who's going to be coming to the door any minute now. Um, so let me um, kind of show you what I'm doing here. This sketch has these little clusters of whatever. You could put photos in those circles, whatever. It's a very versatile sketch. And it's got a five by seven photo here and then four smaller photos. I'm using a five by five photo of um, John and Katie reproducing an earlier photo taken in 2002 <laughs> when, when uh, Katie used to, for some unknown reason, just kind of throw her hands up in the air. That was her way of greeting you, I guess. So John loved to see her do that and he would imitate her. And uh, I hear I was holding her and and he's imitating her. She's looking straight at him and smiling and raising her hands up in the air. And sadly, when when James posted, I had never seen this picture. When James posted this on his Facebook memories, I re knew immediately what photo they were reproducing. So I went looking for it. I didn't have it in my electronic photos. And I thought, oh no, did I scrap the original? And sure enough, I did. This was one of the very first scrapbook pages I ever did. Uh, in, it was in 2006, which is when I started what I would call modern scrapbooking. And I have this, the title is Magic Memories. And I've got, you know, I, I tore the photos. I must have seen that in a magazine or something. And then I, I have two squared off photos, but torn paper uh, uh, underneath. It was, it's one of those albums. Anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna bore you with all those details. So what I'm gonna do is use this cut file. I'm actually gonna overlay the, first of all, the background paper with the stars is um, Lucky Stars by Bella Boulevard. And I chose it because the main field in the background there is the same color as Katie's um, cheer shirt here. And the darker stars are the same color as the accent paper that I used on this old page. And also the, the same color as Grandpa's shirt. So I'm going to do, I've cut, this was a... Um, this cut file include, you know, kind of was a lot longer and I've cut it apart and I'm going to use a, um, I'm going to use it this way right here and kind of insert the photos there. I'm going to stack my journaling right here. Maybe I will, um, this is a kind of a label. Actually, I'm going to put this more up here. 
and I have this little label right there. Then I'll stack this here and then this. Let's see if I have enough black cardstock to mat that. Um, it doesn't look like I do. So I'm going to do what I often do, which is kind of fake it. And I will do all of the embellishing with, for Calvin Ball points uh, off camera. So I'm going to kind of stack this here. And I think it's going to be close enough to the sketch. So let me... I'm not going to put this on foam because I know I want to layer this over. I'll just get an even border there. I'll do a little bit of gluing here. I apologize for this being so rushed, but stuff happens, I guess. Yesterday was kind of a a strange day. I tried not to put too much glue on here, but I can always embellish right there. I, I kind of, this is an unknown person's arm. Might be Barrett's actually, but um, let's see. Katie was 12 here and she was uh, on a cheer team in um, where she was living at the time with her mom in near Louisville, Kentucky. And her cheer team won a spot in a, uh, a competition in Nashville. So Nashville's about halfway between where we live and where they lived in Kentucky. Let me... This, this is crazy that I haven't used any foam yet. Okay. Here. That's good enough and I like my intent was for the the hearts to kind of overlay and I may kind of use I may cut a few of these and I might tack one on maybe this small one let's do that Do this and then maybe put a, a small embellishment maybe over there. That's what I want to do. And I'll put a maybe a small heart embellishment around in there. I'll use that as an excuse to embellish. Now I'm going to put this here. But I want to be sure that I leave room for whatever embellishment I'm going to use to cover that up. So, that's the basic page. I'm going to um, Calvin ball it up, and uh, and uh, and I'll post the finished page around um, in the 30 Days of Sketches album, 
and Marcy Tierra's uh, Scrappy Challenge um, page and on my Scrappy Kathy page and in and in, on Instagram. So this says, uh, in 2014, after a cheer competition in Nashville, Crapaw and Katie reenacted a photo from 2002 where he mimicked her tossing her hands up in the air while she looked straight at him, probably wondering why he was acting so goofy. So I like it. I'm happy with the red background. I went back and forth. Let me see. Is that even? I can... I can embellish that. What's throwing everything off for, for my eye is that I photographed this scrapbook page wonky, and I didn't do a very good job of unwonking it by putting it on the mat wonky. I matted everything a little bit differently. This one, I cut back to the photo, then I matted in black and then in white. So white is what's against the, um, the red paper. Here, I didn't really mat it. I just kind of layered that black paper underneath it. Here, I left a white border around the photo, matted it in black, and here I kind of um, sort of tried to halfway mat it. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you next week for Challenge Accepted, and hopefully I'll iron out some of my technical issues. Bye.